Well, all right, let's go. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi everybody. We are going to Disney World. <laughs> By the time you're watching this video, we will be on the road to Disney. We are road tripping from Missouri all the way down to Florida. <laughs> So if you're new to this channel, my name's Ashley, this is my sister Caitlin, and this is my daughter Eliza. Eliza, say hi. hi. <laughs> I also have a little boy, Jack. He is five months old. It'll be his first time at Disney World. And Eliza's like 20th time. We used to live in Florida, so she I'm was Jack used to it. Killed. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the fun, cute, and unique items that I plan on bringing to Disney, like this ensemble here. I'm also going to be sharing some Disney tips and tricks with you. I had everybody ask some questions on Instagram and so we will be answering those for you in this video as well. To start off with, check out these shirts. Look at them. Oh, aren't they cute? Show them yours! So we got these from <laughs> Etsy. The company is called Wiley River and she does matching mommy-daughter shirts and in tons of different colors. So Caitlin's rocking the soft pink. <laughs> Me and Eliza are rocking the purple. It's a looser fit. This is an adult medium. So it is a little bit baggier, which I like, because we can also, I plan on like knotting in the front with some um, jean shorts. But if you want it a little bit tighter, I would do like a small or size down because it is kind of like a, a unisex sizing. We have these and then we also have, me and Eliza have matching Minnie Mouse shirts with our, what's it called? Our lettering? Initials. Initials. So we're gonna be rocking these in Disney World. All the girls got matching shirts and I really like the detail on this. Then if you notice, me and Eliza are rocking our Minnie Mouse ears. I've Very never nice. had Minnie Mouse ears, and these are quite affordable too. These were under ten dollars per ear, and they're pretty comfortable. I have no <laughs> <laughs> and these ears are from a company called Cutest Little Party on Etsy. Okay, here is the very first question. <laughs> that was asked. I'm taking my six month old to Disney. Can you give any advice? So I made a video, have you seen it? I think so. So my friend Beth and I made a Disney video tips and tricks for babies and toddlers and we posted that back in <laughs> September of last year. And it is a very good detailed video. It is, I think it's like 45 minutes long. So it's very long. But I probably didn't watch it. <laughs> Link that down here as well. So I talk in great detail about everything taking kids, babies, toddlers to Disney. But if I would to say my biggest tip is to lower your expectations, take advantage of the baby care centers. There are baby care centers in each of the four parks, and I feel like they're not um, very well known. Everyone's going to be watching her and not listening to anything I say. But that's okay. Eliza. So take advantage of baby care centers. They are great resources for moms who need to change their baby, feed their baby. They even have like nursing rooms that are really dark with dimmed lighting and like rocking chairs so you can, if you're breastfeeding mom, um, take advantage of that. They also have every single baby product imaginable that you can purchase if you forget anything or if your baby has a blowout you can buy new outfits there you can buy diapers wipes sunscreens anything and then my third big tip for taking small children to disney is schedule out your nap times be it in the stroller or if you can get back to a hotel or your condo or your vacation rental or whatever and um get those kids some naps in the afternoon the afternoons are hot anyways and the um the lines are typically the longest in the late afternoon time yeah. so get out of the park go for honestly even for an adult it's hard to do like All a 12 day. hour day it at is, disney yeah. like mm -hmm. i think that we never went as toddlers yeah. and children but as you know <laughs> thank, thank you, you. <laughs> but even as like preteens we would go back to the hotel oh like, yeah it really helps you maybe. rally and then you are energized for the evening and the, the evenings, nighttime shows they're so magical the night times at the parks are so nice i love them but you can tell the parents that oh, got their yeah, kids to nap and the parents them. that didn't because the kids daddy. are going to be either zonked completely <sighs> They're not even going to be awake for the fireworks or they're going to be crying and having meltdowns and you don't want to be those parents. So. <laughs> the next item that we are bringing to Disney World is this gorgeous Minnie Mouse cup. So this is from a shop called Crafts with Alyssa. These are actually the Munchkin 
brand 360 degree uh, insulated tumblers. They're the stainless steel. So these will stay cool in the parks and she customizes them and it's got her name mm -hmm. on it. She's been wanting to use this since we got it a few weeks ago and I told her she couldn't. She had to wait for Disney World. But I like that it's personalized because she is going to be going to preschool in a few months and she goes to church nursery and all those kids like share cups. So I'm glad to have a personalized one for her. We put on a movie for Eliza because she is, stole her ears. <laughs> she has way too much. I said, give me <laughs> She is watching Coco, which is her new favorite Disney movie. We are very proud of her for conquering her skeleton fears. <laughs> so the next item is this stroller tag. Holt is a huge Star Wars fan, so I just, I was part to the Star Wars stroller tags, but this is from a company called Doki Design. I think it's Doki, it might be Do Doki. <laughs> so if you've ever been to Disney World, there are a million and two strollers, and this just helps to differentiate your stroller from others. Also, I heard recently that yeah. they um, are, have banned certain types of strollers. Yes, so you should probably make sure before you yes, go and that I will your talk, stroller is allowed. I will talk about the strollers. Um, later on this video too because we're doing a thing for the first time and we're renting a stroller from an outside company Kingdom strollers and I'll talk about that because every single stroller they offer is like park approved park approved basically tie it to the back with little um, ribbon and they even have some that look like cast member IDs and it is embroidered so it's very good quality and it's felt Okay, so that leads us to our next question actually and that is I'm going to Disney this fall Do you recommend renting strollers in the parks or bringing your own and I definitely recommend going through an outside company I'm going to talk about kingdom strollers real quick I've never rented a stroller with them before so I can't tell you how the process if it's smooth or not But I've heard really good things and seen a lot of good reviews. So basically there's free pickup and delivery They will deliver to any of the hotels on site on Disney site or any of the outside Side Disney condos. lets them do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, so kind of Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll drop them off at the lobby or the bellhop and you go pick it up, drop it back off at the bellhop or lobby and the people will come and pick it back up at the end of your vacation. And another reason I really like these this company is your alternative is bring your own stroller. So if you're flying or if you're driving like us, there's no room for a double stroller. We would have to strap it to the top of our minivan. And getting a double stroller or a big stroller through um, airports is not fun either. I don't even think about that. Yeah, your other option is to rent a stroller in the parks. I'm sure and if you've that seen is very those, expensive. It is expensive and they're hard plastic. They don't even like lay down. Yeah. yeah so yeah. the strollers at Kingdom Strollers are all very nice strollers. They're way better than the one I even own. And it's cheaper. I think what, what did, what is it? So for three days that we're gonna have our stroller, it's $55. If you rent one in the parks, $27 a day for a double stroller rental, and $13 a day for a single stroller rental. And get this, you can't even take them out of the parks. Oh. So mm -hmm, you can't take them back to your hotel. So you have to pick you them have up. To bring everything with you. Yeah, it's to terrible. Park, like it's not back. worth it. G just go through Kingdom Strollers. It'd be way easier. I will link down below. I am actually. Um, I have become an affiliate for Kingdom Strollers, and if you go through that, um, I earn a small commission. So I will be honest <laughs> upfront with that. It doesn't. Um, affect the cost of your stroller, but I'm really excited to be working with them I think it's a really really great service that they offer so a few other items that I'm gonna be bringing this I have had for Jack since he was born and this is from Etsy as well And I have a Star Wars one too. They're really big. Look how big they are Caitlin. Look at that These are lightweight. They're a lightweight swaddle. I plan on bringing this Plus, because it's Disney themed, hello. And I plan on throwing this over the stroller to block out light and sound and noise when Jack sleeps in his stroller. So I'm bringing these. I'm bringing a clip-on stroller fan. I got this from Walmart. It was like $6. This battery. works, it's battery powered. Foam felty thing. So if your little toddler sticks their finger on there, it's not gonna slice their finger off. I also recommend bringing like light up toys. For the evenings in the parks, this was an Easter gift oh, that Eliza. That's a good idea. Yeah, I also recommend bringing um, activity book type things and toys for waiting in line. Well, I was doing this for the car ride. Oh, I'm gonna bring my diaper storage caddy and fill it with snacks and busy book type items. Hopefully, that will get us through the drive. I also wanted to show Jack's cute little outfit. I just bought this, Caitlin, the other day. So this outfit is from Kohl's. 
this little onesie. These are and bandanas. These shirts, not loincloths. Yeah, look at how cute these are. Bandana bibs from Etsy. But that matches with his outfit. And then there's booties. There's little crib shoes. Aren't those <laughs> cute? These were pretty affordable. I got them on sale. I think these were $5 each. Here's another tip or a tip and trick that I recommend. Bring bribery snacks in the parks. Eliza's favorite is Dum Dums. They take a long time to eat. In the lines, you're gonna need something to keep them busy. I'll feed Caitlin some suckers too if she starts getting cranky. Any Next questions? question. Do you recommend the dining plan? Caitlin, do you know what I'm gonna say? She's gonna say no. <laughs> and I'm gonna say also no. No. We both did the Disney College program. Yes, yeah, so we both worked at Disney and me specifically at some restaurants. I worked at two different restaurants. You would not believe how wasteful the dining plan is. People get it because they think, oh, it's saving me money. But it's really not. No. Because unless you're like expecting to consume like 10,000 calories a day, you don't need that much yeah. food. Oh and and goodness. like you might be like, oh, look at these two skinny, skinny minis <laughs> telling us that we <laughs> don't need minis. But for real, like it's a lot of food. Don't need that much food. So for, <laughs> what is it specifically? for example, like for the deluxe dining plan specifically, you get for each meal, you get an appetizer, you get an entree, you get a dessert, you get a drink. So for each person, the appetizers, person. the appetizers are like shareables for the family. Yeah, normally um, you just get one appetizer for the whole table. You but each see, person gets the appetizer. You wouldn't believe how much food is wasted that I saw food being wasted. Plus, all of those things are going to add up into a huge bill. Well, guess what? Dining plan does not include gratuity. Yeah. Well, you're gonna be paying way more money than what you anticipated because you didn't think about the tipping. Um, I also don't like the dining plan because it schedules you in to way too many dining um, reservations. Oh, and then you're just like, yeah, that. you're just going from dining reservation to dining reservation and you're not getting the full effect of the park and getting to enjoy the shows. And, the, and with little children, I'm telling you, you need to be flexible. You need to be your times need to be really fluid. The fast passes will lock you into timing um, yeah, that's anyways. True. And so to add in a lunch reservation and a dinner reservation, you're going to be just like constantly watching the clock. And it'll be stressful. To rush. Mm -hmm. And so I don't recommend the dining plan. You can look into this more or, or Google it and YouTube um, dining plan. Sometimes if that's, if, if I, Holt and I were going by ourselves, sure. Maybe I'd splurge on the dining plan, especially if it was a honeymoon, it was more romantic. We wanted to experience the foods. Like I'm a foodie, I love food. Mm -hmm. um, that would be a dream, but with children, it's just not worth it. Yeah. I do think though that um, like if you're going to be there for the standard amount of time, which is like what, four to seven days, mm -hmm. you know, you should plan a couple on your own without the dining plan, a couple reservations and some of the really fun restaurants. Yeah. What are but, some of your very favorite restaurants? Um, if you can tell, like, to well, honestly, I, I, I guess I'm a little biased, but I really like Sonoma. Yeah, at Animal Kingdom Lodge because mm -hmm. that's where Ashley worked and I just think the food is so delicious. Phenomenal. And you can see all the animals right outside the yeah. window. It's fun for the so kids, really but the cool. food is like Indian African themed and it's yeah. delicious. Love that. Um, honestly, just anywhere in the Epcot World Showcase Lagoon mm -hmm. is going to be a great really place to Really good food, yeah. Um, and actually, some of them, even the quick service ones in the World Service Lagoon are really cool. Yeah. I got a great quiche at the French Pavilion <laughs> one time. Quick service. Yeah. It's great. As far as like Magic Kingdom quick service, I really like Pecos Bills. It's like a um, build your own nacho taco bar and it's really great value. We also really like the fish and chips place, the mm -hmm. Columbia Harbor I think there's House. some sort of taco salad also at, oh sorry, we were talking about Magic Kingdom. No, yeah, you I, can go. Well, I was going to say in Hollywood Studios. Oh yeah, that one's um, good. Over on um, Sunset Delivery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Do you buy souvenirs at the park or online beforehand? I feel like the answer is obvious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely get your stuff beforehand. I'm a planner though, but I'm also a bargain hunter. I do not like wasting money. So in the parks, do not buy your mini ears. Do not buy your outfits. Do not buy the little light up toys. A Mickey Mouse plush is going to run you like $20, $30 in Disney World and you could buy the same thing here for like five or six. It, especially like your princess dresses and your outfits, get them beforehand. It also kind of helps build the hype for your kids. Give them like a present before you go, like with all your Disney attire and things. I will say that the one thing I do splurge on in parks is usually like some fun snacks that you can only oh, get yeah, at Disney like the, World. That, and you know, actually while you were talking, I was thinking the same thing, like consumables. Yeah. Because you don't have to worry about what to do with oh, them afterwards. But even like non-consumables are 
non-food consumables, like a balloon to tie yeah. into it. Like the kids, it's, those you know, are special things that you can't get. That you can't get elsewhere. anywhere else. So the, yeah, the Mickey Mouse balloons, they're expensive, but they're so cute. But they're so cute, and the kids really like yeah, them. Yeah, they're like 15 it's bucks, but pictures. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Dole Whips are fun to get. Um, those, those are really fun good. Starbucks drinks. That this is something silly, but the the cups are a little different at Disney World. They've got the little Mickey Mouse heads, and so it's just fun to to splurge on those yeah. types of things. I'd rather spend my money on that. That's a good point. Like get things there that you can't get. Yeah, anywhere elsewhere. Except. Another question was, how do you avoid wasting half your day in the long bathroom lines, especially with young kids? And I will say, I've never, I've never seen really I've long. Never Disney run does into a pretty that good problem. job of having bathrooms everywhere. They have bathrooms everywhere, and there's a ton of stalls. But also, there's bathrooms in the baby care center. So take advantage of that when you're changing your kids. Go to those little private bathrooms because people don't know about the baby care centers. Every I time, didn't know. About every time I go, it's like there's not very many people. Probably in there. because most people are like, I don't want to bring my six five month old <laughs> child to Disney. Yeah, well, you know, I'm that crazy girl that likes to start them young. <laughs> Here's a good question. Which rides can you go on with a baby? Disney World is great. It's a family friendly park. So you can ride a lot of things with your baby. Basically anything that's not a roller coaster, you can take your kid on. Some of my very favorites, I'm gonna specifically talk about Magic Kingdom because I feel like Magic Kingdom is the best park for taking young children. There's the most things that you can do. As far as Magic Kingdom, here are some rides that I enjoy taking babies on. It's a small world, it's a boat ride, it's very cute. Um, Jungle Cruise is another boat ride. It is outdoors. Winnie the Pooh, it's a cute little car car ride. There's a lot of rides like that at Disney World where that it's basically here. just the movie in ride form. Yes, exactly. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, now that one's kind of kind scary. Of scary. They've got Winnie the Pooh, they've got Little Mermaid, they've mm -hmm. got Peter Pan. Yep. Enchanted Tales with Belle, that one's a really good one. Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor is a good comedy show and it's like in an auditorium type style. Mm -hmm. um, another one is the Mickey's Philhar Magic. It's a 3D show. That one's really dark, which would be a great place if you needed to feed your baby. <laughs> I, I'm always thinking of that, like where can I breastfeed? <laughs> and that one is a good one. I also really like the People Mover. That one is above the, um, oh, yeah. it's like a little tram. Yeah, it's a tram, but it's but elevated. It's elevated so you can see everything. And it's by Tomorrowland. Here's a good question. Which rides do you recommend fast passes for? At Magic Kingdom, the big three rides, and this is for big kids or if you wanna ride these yourselves are Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Another good one to get is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I actually still have not rode that I know, one. it's really long lines, it's really hard to get fast passes for, but those would be good ones. If you have babies or toddlers, I would recommend getting one character meter greet. Those lines can get pretty long. Although, I actually have found that Mickey Mouse lines are usually pretty short. The last time we were there for the Talking Mickey, we had to wait in about a 35 minute Long ride, oh, which maybe isn't talking that, Mickey is harder. That's not as bad. If you're not looking for a outfit specific Mickey, Animal Kingdom is probably a good place to get the characters, like the generic ones, you know, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, and everything, because people don't usually think yeah. about Tim. Animal Kingdom as being a place to go meet characters. Yeah. But those characters are in every park. Yeah, that's true. But they're gonna be in like safari outfits. So yeah. If you don't want that, then <laughs> yeah. Not. As far as the other fast passes, if you have small children, I would pick between Jungle Cruise. Peter Pan's flight is always really, really long lines. So yeah, and I have no idea why. I, I would skip I it. Know. But if that's important <laughs> to you, get a fast pass. And plus, it is one of them that you can take little kids on. Yeah. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. In boat ride or Haunted Mansion, those are usually pr some pretty long lines. Mm -hmm. And then Enchanted Tales with Belle is a long line. Plus, that is a lot of waiting outside. Enchanted Tales. Yeah. It's mostly outdoors. Disney does a great job at keeping most cues. cues. In, indoors, air conditioning, but or Jungle least, Cruise is not. Yeah. Get a fast pass for that. If you wanna ride Jungle Cruise, it is a miserably hot line. I hear my baby crying. I'm gonna bring him in. Will you hold him while we finish I'll up? I'll hold him. <gasps> Here, yeah. you want me to go get him? Yeah, sure. So at Animal Kingdom, I recommend Everest, Kilimanjaro Safaris, or Avatar Fleet of Flight of Passage. And that one's gonna be a hard one to get a fast pass for. If you're trying to get one under like one to two months in advance, you're probably not gonna get it because it's the newest ride. I also like Festival of Lion King. Oh, pumpkin. 
Festival of the Lion King is a really good one too. <laughs> Hi. See, Jack, are you excited about Disney World? Okay, at Hollywood Studios, I recommend getting fast passes for the new Toy Story Land rides, and we've never rode those. I've never um, seen them. But those are probably gonna be hard to get fast passes for. So if you can't get one of those, I would get them for Toy Story Mania which is really fun, or the big rides like Tower of Terror or Rock and Roller Coaster. Don't waste your time getting a fast pass for like Muppet Vision 3D or um, like the Beauty and the Beast show or the Frozen Sing Along. Epcot, I recommend getting fast passes for Soarin'. That is the tier one ride. So they make you pick one out of the tier one. And the other options are Test Track and then, oh shoot. Oh, frozen. you know what? It might be, yeah. The fr new Elsa. Frozen. No, it's a Frozen ride, I think. A boat ride or something. Oh. So, but I recommend Soren. That's my favorite. But if you have small children, you can't bring kids on Soren. I would get a Fast Pass for Spaceship Earth or Turtle Talk with Crush. Epcot's not very good for children. <laughs> Just FYI, in it's my opinion. Day. Here's another question. How does the child swap work? Have you ever heard of the child swap program? So, if you want to go on a big person ride and you've got your small children, like Soren, and you want to go, ask the cast member at the start of the line that you would like a child swap pass and they will give you a little pass you like for instance I will go ride I will come out of the ride give the swap pass to Holt and he would go and ride and skip the line he would go through the fast oh, pass so you line. don't have to wait in line once mm -hmm. and you don't have to wait in line with your kid yes if you put that with a fast pass say I had a fast pass already for Soren then you would go a fast pass line your husband would go through fast pass line and both of you would get in and out it's a really cool service that they offer so take advantage of that who is your favorite Disney princess and who is your favorite villain my favorite princess is probably Probably Belle, even though she's not a princess, but whatever. She is. There's two ways to be a princess <laughs> through marriage. Okay, so Belle is my favorite princess, and then I would have to say Ursula is probably my favorite villain. Mm -hmm. Who is your favorite? I think my favorite princess is Rapunzel. And my favorite villain is Hades from her <laughs> He's funny. He is really funny. And then another question that they have is who is your favorite character to meet? Oh. And I would like to say probably the funny characters that are interactive. Oh, um, the best the one I think characters. is Gaston. I was gonna He's say really fun. Oh, we're Gaston is so funny. He's funny. You can meet him in Magic Kingdom over by Gaston's. <laughs> one tab. time I was waiting in line for Gaston, and a little girl um, handed him his auto the autograph book, and he like snatches it out of her hand, and he's like, "You know how I feel about books." <laughs> 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 oh, yes. Another one that I like, um, and I've only met them once, are the evil stepsisters, Cinderella's sisters. Oh, they're funny. Yeah. They're but really they're hard to catch. funny. They are. They're behind the castle usually by right as you're entering by Bell Bell's and she Yeah, but they Bell. like they're not always out there. Mm -hmm. No, they're pretty random. Is there any other really? Oh, I would say the talking Mickey is a really cool experience if you've never done the talking Mickey thing. You like mommy, don't you? <laughs> the characters that don't have faces like the fur, fur characters. characters they're not as fun because they just have to they can't mime everything um, and they can be a little scary sometimes for, for the, the children kids, yeah. the last question is do I recommend staying on property or off property if you can swing it on property is really great especially if it's your first time um, you get to take advantage of the free transportation and all the themes at Disney are so fun but if you're a more seasoned Disney goer I recommend staying off property it's more affordable, especially if you're driving, you already have your car. We know the area really well because we've lived there, but this time we are staying at a really, really cool condo and it's very close to Disney. We're staying at a place, I'm not gonna say the name yet because for safety, since we're going in a few weeks. Actually, we're going next week. Oh my gosh. We're going, oh, yeah. we're going in less than a week. Oh my gosh, we'll be in, in Florida oh, right now. Oh <laughs> I'm not gonna share it, but I will be vlogging the trip um, and I'll share all about the condo that we're staying at. We rented it through Airbnb, but I've also rented through VRBO before. But it's a cute theme. It's got a Mickey Mouse room and it's got a princess room. Eliza is going to die. She's going to love it. And they also have a ton of amenities for children and a mm -hmm. private pool and all of those things. So there's definitely perks to buying or staying in a condo just because you can spread out. It's very comfortable and you've got your own kitchen. You can cook. Can you order things like Pizza Hut or whatever, do, do restaurants deliver on site? I believe they do. If you're ever gonna stay on site, it should be your first time. The very yeah. first time that we went to Disney mm -hmm. World, our we parents, stayed. we stayed on site. Pop Century. And I think if you don't know the area mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's fun to be fully immersed. It's fun mm -hmm. to be fully immersed and it's just, 
it is more sh stressful, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, not more stressful if you know what you're doing, but if you don't, like, you don't want to ruin your vacation being worried about driving and stuff. Yeah. That is the end of this video. Jack, would you like to say goodbye? Um, check out my other Disney video if you still have questions or leave more questions down below. I will answer those for you because we'll be driving to Disney World so I can answer lots of questions. <laughs> He's just in love with his Aunt Caitlin. Um, make sure you follow along. I will post our vacation videos next week. I'm excited to see how the kids do. I'm really hopeful. We don't have hardly any meltdowns and we'll just lower our expectations and have a grand time, huh? Say thanks for watching. Bye thanks guys. Watching. See you later. Does he look like he has many ears on? <laughs> oh, looky there. <laughs> Bye. Mwah.